Welcome to the 2011 U.S. Chess Championships and U.S. Women's here at the Chess Club and Scholastic Center in St. Louis. The preliminaries are just about done, and we have six players who have locked up their spots into the semifinals. In Group A, no surprises, we have Grandmaster and reigning champion Gata Kamsky and last year's runner-up Yuri Shulman taking their spots. And in the B group, how about that Hess? Robert Hess playing like a Robert of old that we know from the 60s. This guy wins four games in a row in this tournament after starting off a little bit slowly, but he just came on like gangbusters. And in his round six game, he just completely dominated Christensen. After a dubious pawn sacrifice by Christensen in the opening, Hess got into this nice end game and he played this idea of sacrificing his rook on f1, followed by b2. And when Christensen tried to bring his rook back, has queened the pawn and he couldn't capture because of the fork on D2. So tremendous play, very convincing, and then a nice draw in the final round and Hess is all the way through having been the most dominant player so far in the competition. But there's one spot left in the B group and Shanklin and Onishuk are gonna be playing a playoff tomorrow and they're gonna both be fighting like mad to get that spot. It starts out with rapid chess, two game 25 with a five second increment. Gotta like Onishuk by rating, but Shanklin, the younger player, very good at rapid. He managed to win the U.S. Junior Championship last year and qualify this event because of the rapid format. Onishuk is not really on form, so I'm thinking that the slight edge has to go to Shanklin in this format, but don't count Onishuk out of this because, of course, he's a tremendous player, former champion, looking to get into the semifinals. Absolutely. So that is going to be a thrilling contest. In the U.S. Women's Championship, we also have some excitement. Three players have already clinched their spots. I am Irina Krush, Tatev Abrahamian, and Camilla Bahinskaiti. But we've got one spot up for grabs, and look who's coming back to snatch it. The highest rated player in the tournament, Anna Zatansky, and the early front runner, Sabina Foyzer, they're going to be contesting a playoff tomorrow as well. Anna looked really on her last legs, but like a true champion, she came back fighting. She won her last two games in a row. And this kind of fortitude, you know, you expect from Anna Zatonski. And it's great to see her playing in the playoff with Sabina Foyzer, who's got to be disappointed after winning her first two games, now having to play a playoff against the highest rated player in the competition. I think that's going to be a tough road for her to follow. So join us tomorrow for the rapid playoffs to see who gets those spots into the 2011 U.S. Chess Championship. Is it going to be Shanklin or Onishuk? And the U.S. Women's, is it going to be Zatonsky or Foyzer? You'll find out. Watch me and Maurice analyze those games at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. here in St. Louis. And of course, don't forget to catch the semifinals, which are going to start on Saturday. You've got no excuse to miss those. It's on the weekend. See you next time at uschesschamps.com.